Justin Thomas is one of the most popular yet also controversial golf players out there. He shocked us with both amazing plays and records as well as some pretty nasty scandals. What happened on his journey to becoming the world famous golfer he is today? How is he living his life off the course? Let's get right into it. His Beginnings His birthday is April 29th and he was born in the city of Louisville, Kentucky which is in the United States of America. Justin competed in the Wyndham Championship on the PGA Tour in August 2009 just before beginning his junior year of high school. He finished in a tie for second place. He became the third youngest player in the history of the PGA Circuit when he qualified for a PGA Circuit event at the age of 16 years, 3 months and 24 days, becoming the youngest player to do so. Thomas graduated from St. Xavier High School in 2011 with a high school diploma. After graduating, Justin continued his study by enrolling in the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Having grown up around sports, it's something he's always enjoyed doing. Thus, Thomas went on to compete for the Alabama Crimson Tide in college golf where he earned six victories. In 2012, he was named the Haskins Award winner as the nation's top collegiate golfer of his performance as a freshman. Thomas was a member of the national championship team that won the national championship in 2013 and has since retired. His parents are Janny and Mike Thomas, both of whom are musicians, and Justin Thomas is their son. The late Mike Thomas was a professional golfer who competed on the PGA Tour in his younger years. Since 1990, he served as the head professional at Harmony Landing Country Club in Goshen, Kentucky, where he has been employed since that time as well. As a result, it is positive that his father encouraged him to seek professional golf career. As an alternative, we may argue that he has followed in the footsteps of his father. Aside from these qualifications, his grandfather, Paul, was a professional golfer who competed in the 1962 United States Open Championship. The sport of golf is, after all, where Thomas' roots are profoundly ingrained. Also make sure to write your thoughts on whether he's as good as his grandfather or not in the comment section. His Professional Career Thomas began his professional career as a graphic designer in the year 2013 and has worked in the field ever since. A qualifying school program won him a spot on the web.com tour which he attended after completing his degree. There are a large number of golfers who have earned big sums of money during the course of their professional golfing careers. Discover the identities of the world's 25 wealthiest golfers and how they made their fortunes. It was at the 2014 Nationwide Children's Hospital Championship that Justin earned his first professional triumph, which was also his first professional victory. In 2014, he earned a PGA Tour card by finishing third in the Web.com Tour Finals. In 2015, he will be eligible to compete on the Tour. With 7 top 10 finishes and 15 top 25 finishes, in 2015, Thomas's finest performances came at the Quicken Loans National and Sanderson Farm Championship where he finished 4th and 5th respectively, while competing for Rookie of the Year honors on the PGA Tour's FedEx Cup team. He finished in 32nd place and missed out on the accolade to Daniel Berger, who finished first. His victory at the CIMB Classic in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on November 1st, 2015 marked the beginning of his professional golf career and marked his first victory on the PGA Tour. In the end, he won by a single stroke over Adam Scott in the final round. The tournament was won by one stroke after Justin rallied from a double boogie on the 14th hole during the final round and sunk a 6-foot, 1.8-meter par put to win by one shot. His Massive Wealth Official estimates place the Kentucky native's total net worth somewhere in the neighborhood of $30 million. As a result, he's ascended to become one of the world's wealthiest and most influential golfers. He's now worth an estimated $1 billion. To be expected, he has a large number of big sponsors on his side, as you could imagine. His sponsorship, as is the case with a large number of other professional golfers, comes from NetJets, an American company that specializes in private jet travel. It was announced in May 2021 that Thomas had agreed to an agreement with Lineage Logistics, a Michigan-based company that specializes in the transportation of chilled commodities. According to the sponsorship, he will wear the Lineage emblem during official contests, with all of the earnings from the collaboration going to the Justin Thomas Foundation. According to the press release, it is particularly committed to projects that have a good influence on underprivileged children military families, and young golfers among other populations. 
The fact that Justin Thomas, who won the Masters in 2011, has become one of the golf's most well-known public figures demonstrates that everyone admires a victor. In the course of his career, he was approached by a number of agencies for endorsements and sponsorship opportunities. It was estimated that Justin's sponsorship profits would be worth more than $23 million, according to an article published by The Street. As a result of his earnings, he was ranked as the sixth highest paid golfer in the world that year. In addition to the foundation, Thomas has participated in a number of additional charity projects to raise funds for a variety of charities. Another opportunity came in August 2020 when he competed in the PGA Championship alongside Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, among others. It's understandable that you might be curious about what he does with all of this money. Stick around the end of the video to find out about his expensive purchases. His Lifestyle Justin has relocated to Florida where he will join the vast majority of other professional golfers in their pursuit to success. Currently, Justin's primary residence and investment properties are located in Jupiter, Florida, where he resides in Florida. The weather is pleasant for golfing and other outdoor activities throughout the entire year. Following his military service, he relocated to Jupiter, Florida, which is recognized as the golfing capital of the world. The house has four bedrooms and four bathrooms, and it has an overall square footage of 4,739 square feet. Overall, it's expected to cost $273,000 to complete the project. Besides a premium car, Justin is also the proprietor of the Range Rover Automotive Collection brand, which includes the Range Rover Automobile Collection brand. At the moment, Justin is not married to anyone. A beautiful female companion is, however, the object of his affections. He isn't married to her. His long-term girlfriend, Jillian Wisniewski, has been his partner for a number of years. In 2016, the two began dating one other on a more casual basis. On the other side, Jillian graduated from the University of Kentucky with a bachelor's degree in journalism the same year as her brother. In her current position, according to her LinkedIn profile, she works at Densu McGarry in Chicago, where she currently resides. For those who aren't aware, not everything appears to be smooth and spotless on the surface, though. Before we jump into that, be sure to subscribe for more golf content. Let's get into the more controversial parts of his life. His Controversies Justin Thomas was punished for using the pejorative slur, faggot, after missing a putt on the ninth hole on January 9, 2021, during a round of golf. However, despite Thomas's apology and protestations to the contrary, Ralph Lauren discontinued their partnership with him despite the fact that he felt awful and extremely ashamed after the incident. Also make sure you write your thoughts on the scandal in the comments section. Similar things also happened when he appeared to be rude to reporters from time to time. Although he has been embroiled in such controversies, Thomas has maintained an active social media presence throughout his career and is well liked by the general public. Justin had his grandfather's signature tattooed on the inside of his upper arm, which was inherited from his father. Paul Thomas died in February 2021 after a protracted illness. He was 78 years old. When his grandfather passed away, he decided to get a tattoo to commemorate the occasion. Each of Justin's wedges have been carved with a selection of hilarious words that he's come up with. In the background, people are reading motivated words as hip-hop music is playing in the background. Be sure to check out your favorite golf video here. See you there!